Today I'm going to give you a detailed look at the signed Funko Pops I got at C2E2 2020. I'm also going to announce two giveaway winners, both for mystery boxes. So make sure to stay tuned to see if you won. How's it going everybody? This is Joe with Don't Pop Believe and welcome to the channel. I had a great time at C2E2 this weekend. Uh, it's the second time I went to the show. It was actually the first Comic Con I ever went to. Uh, the very first time I went to it, I got the autograph of Donald Faison, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, he plays Turk on the show Scrubs. And then also got uh, John Barrowman who plays Malcolm Merlin on Arrow. So those are my first two Funko Pops I ever had uh, signed for my collection. Um, I got three more which I'm going to show you today. Um, all from Arrow as well. So I'll show you guys those Funko Pops and then I'll go into detail on the giveaways. Uh, we have two giveaway winners today. One is for my shout out support Sunday. Uh, that is for a $30 mystery box back there. And you have a chance to get an autograph of Star Wars or Overwatch. Uh, there's three autographs uh, available. And uh, the other one is for a $25 Funko Pop mystery box. And that was for my 550 subscriber giveaway, which we are at 560 now, which is awesome. I'm also going to be doing a 600 subscriber giveaway. Uh, that'll probably be in like a week or two, kind of when we get a little bit closer, like 580 or so. Then I'll make an announcement for that one, and that'll be for another mystery box as well. Uh, so let's get into it. Let me show you what I got at C2E2. Um, this one is probably one of my favorites. He didn't sign it on the actual like part, of, like the plastic part. He did put, you have failed this city. And then he signed it down here. This is Stephen Amell that plays uh, Oliver Queen or Arrow or Green Arrow. So that's actually really cool. Um, this is a pop from pretty much like, I think first season is when he does it. I think even actually in the first episode maybe, he does the part where he shoots like the tennis balls with his arrows. Um, so yeah, this is a really cool pop. Um, JSA is certified at the show. If you guys go to Comic Cons, um, and you have like places where you get like an autograph. A lot of places, uh, a lot of like bigger conventions, JSA will actually have a booth rented out there. So you can go over to them. And then instead of spending like $20 to get the authentication, it's like $10 for any auto at the show. And if you have an autograph that you already have that you never got authenticated, you can bring it to the show and then it's 20 bucks. So overall, not too bad at all. Uh, so yeah, this is a really cool one. Definitely one of my favorites in my collection now. And we'll switch it up here and show you the Felicity one. So she signed it, if you can see that. Uh, I asked her to put down whatever she wanted to put, pitch with Wi-Fi. Uh, so yeah, Emily Bett Rickards plays uh, Felicity Smoke. She had like red hair, so I didn't even recognize her when I first saw her. Uh, she's super nice, super funny. Uh, so yeah, this is a really cool one. This is actually a Funko Pop prototype. Uh, I paid a little over 100 for it. I knew that... She was going to be at the show and I was going to get a signature. So I was like, I'll spend a little bit more money to get like a really rare pop because I am going to get this graded and it's going to stay in my personal collection. And I know that she doesn't do a lot of comic cons. Um, I know I think she did one a few years ago. And now that the show's over, it's less likely for her to do it. Uh, Stephen Amell likes to go to them and does them pretty often. So uh, getting hers was really cool. And then this one is the 2015 SDCC. And I had them put, you have filled this universe on it. Um, these pops were in pretty good shape when I got them on eBay. I had to search around and kind of try to find something that wasn't too damaged. So these are probably all around like 8, 8.8s 8 to like 9.2s. Nothing like too crazy, but uh, definitely staying in my personal collection. Uh, meeting Stephen Mel was really cool. Seeing the panel was great. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Heroes and Villains Fan Fest, which is in six weeks. It's also in Chicago. So if anyone wants to go to that, make sure to go. Uh, it's always a great time. I think they changed their dates and they're changing their website right now. So you can't see any of the guests or anything like that, but they're working on it. So I'm hoping that maybe in like a week or so, they'll have more finalized people because that's going to be a really fun one to go to as well. I also got to meet Mark Ruffalo who plays the Hulk. Uh, he's a super nice guy. Got him to sign a Funko Pop for my mystery boxes. And then I also got Emily Bett Rickards to sign one who plays Felicity. So those are my mystery boxes, as well as the Bloody Rorschach, which is worth over $800 on PPG. Uh, those are some of the top hits in there. So those will be available. Um, they ship out in one week. So if anyone's interested, I've sold about 10 boxes of the 50. So there's still plenty left. So now it's time to announce the winner for the 550 subscriber giveaway. This is for a $25 Funko Pop mystery box. You had to put down in the comments if you've been to a Comic-Con, plan on going one in the future. Uh, let's see what the comments here. We have a total of... 54 unique comments. 
I'm going to scroll down, hit that start button, and we'll see who our winner is. Winner is Brandon Hines. He says, never been to one, but I do have local ones around me that I might hit up. I want to try to go to NYCC next year, though. Um, I actually wanted to do that, too. Um, the prices for, like, hotels in New York, even when it's not, like, around, like, a big convention or anything, uh, have been, they're pretty high, so... Um, that's something that if I went, there had to be like a lot, a lot of really good autograph signers that I'd want to get. Or if like a group of people went with me, then I would be more comfortable going because it get pretty pricey pretty quick. Uh, congratulations, Brandon. You have won the $25 Funko Pop mystery box. So make sure to message me on Instagram and then I'll try to ship it out in a few days. Uh, it'll probably be closer to the start of next week because this next, uh, this whole week is pretty busy for me, but, uh, next week for sure. Congratulations, Brandon. So now I want to announce the winner for the $30 Funko Pop Mystery Box. This was a giveaway from my shout-out support Sunday. You had to put down in the comments what uh, country, your favorite place to visit, or place that you'd want to go and visit um, down in the comments. So we had a total of 31 comments into that one. And with that start button. And we'll see who our winner is. We have... <laughs> He actually just bought another mystery box for me. Uh, this is Do Dr. Poppenstein. I would love to go to New Zealand. It is such a beautiful place, plus Lord of the Rings. Uh, awesome stuff, my man. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, that's the main reason I'd want to go to New Zealand. Um, it's been a little while since I've watched all the Lord of the Rings, but when I watched them, I loved them. So it's something that just to kind of see the shots and the, like, the, like it's so beautiful out there. Just to see all that would be really, really cool. Um, they have tours that you can go and see all the different spots from certain key scenes and things like that. So that'd be really fun. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Poppenstein. Make sure to message me on Instagram. You have won the uh, Funko Pop mystery box for my shout out support Sunday. So congratulations to both winners. Make sure to message me on Instagram and I'll ship those out for you. I'm looking forward next week to shipping out my mystery boxes. Uh, there's some really cool stuff in there. I'm excited for you guys to open them up. Um, when you guys open them up, uh, tag me, message me. Uh, make a video. Uh, I'd like to see kind of what what you guys reactions are. I know uh, hashtag Larry when he opened up uh, The one mystery box uh, was for the killer frost and he pulled the killer frost his reaction was uh, the best He was like stunned. Uh, so yeah, I love seeing those videos uh, Make sure to like comment and subscribe guys and then put that bell on for notifications. I hope everyone has a great week <laughs>